Well, you know, we're talking about getting attention. You know yeah. a lot about that because not only are you a fighter, you're also a model. In fact, you were a model before you were a fighter. Exactly. So how do those two things play together? I mean, this is your money maker. What happens <laughs> if you get, you know, yeah. hit the wrong way, and next thing you know, your modeling career done, right? Yeah, I don't know. What if your lip is hanging off? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, like one of Which has happened to one of our, our UFC fighters recently, Overeem. Yeah. He had his lip split. Um, it was something that just kind of oddly happened. The modeling thing was something that came up at a young age, and uh, I took advantage of it. But it was uh, it was never something that was like in my heart. It was fighting. When I moved to LA about 15 years ago, I joined the Muay Thai gym, fell in love with it. I met my wife, who was Thai. We got married. I started fighting Muay Thai, but there was no money in the sport of Thai, uh, Muay Thai. And so I got into MMA, and that's right when uh, the UFC was taken off. And uh, I just never looked back. I completely fell in love with it. I've been doing it ever since fighting, I teaching, breaking down uh, fighting. It's in my blood. Um, and then it, the, the modeling came back. Uh, I, you know, uh, my agent, Jason, is a, an agency in, in New York called Soul Artist Management, and it represents one of the best agencies in the world. And they saw me fighting on TV one day. He gave me a call, signed me up. Next thing you know, Versace, he, he orchestrated a deal with yes. Versace. And I'm shooting a, 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 a commercial, a fragrance campaign with Gigi Hadid, which right. isn't, you know, Oh, no, no, we're no, going to no, ask no, you all about that. You can't get mad at that, that guys. <laughs> Not only I know you guys ad, appreciate good-looking women. You're, you're, you're making out <laughs> with her. You got to make out with her. <laughs> right. tell, tell me what, what your, your guy friend said when they saw you making out with Gigi Hadid. It gave me, it gave me more points. It wasn't, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't a bad thing. I, I was very fortunate. Look at you guys found, found this picture. Um, I, I was very fortunate. My wife is, is awesome, and she picked it. When I got picked for this campaign, she goes, they need a supermodel to match you up with. I, I bet you it's Gigi Hadid. No. Sure enough, it was Gigi Hadid. She goes, babe, just go for it. Make this thing sexy. Do oh, whatever yeah. you got to do. A woman I was with confidence. Like, we like I, that. Amen. Thank, I know. So I went there and did my thing. And, and it wasn't um, just it one was little fun. smooch, right? Oh, no, look it, at it that. Look at that. Rude. This is like you a know, half hour How many session. takes was this? Yeah. <laughs> you you, got, you got to get the right take. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's work. <laughs> you know, you guys know. You guys are perfectionists. You got to you got to get with you know the right shot. So you know, if we have to work a little overtime, then we have to do it. All right. Let's get into a little this or that. Speaking of modeling, this or that modeling versus fighting. What's more demanding on your body? Oh, wow. Well, modeling versus fighting, because do you need an eight pack for both? Yeah, well, I'll tell you this, like when you're standing up for eight, 10 hours doing some job, trying to be in the moment, have that energy, that presence, it, 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 it's daunting. I would rather be in the gym doing something. That's just the way my, I'm programmed. But 100%. Fighting is the most brutal thing you can do. Let me yeah. look. I look like I'm kind of pieced together right now, but I've had ten surgeries. No, ten broken bones, eight surgeries since wow. I've done my career. So I, I, it, it's a demanding sport, especially the UFC. I mean, you're fighting the highest caliber guys. You're training two to three times a day, and there's no on or off season like there is in other sports, football. So you always have to stay ready and stuff. So so it's very demanding to be a fighter. Okay, what's the easier sell? You think people would rather see you in a Versace campaign or fighting in the octagon? Um, well, I, I love making money with Versace and doing things and <laughs> kissing beautiful women with the blessings of my wife. So I would love to do that. But but yeah, fighting is what's in my blood. It's in my heart. And, um, it, you know, there's nothing that, that quite... I love, are we doing Versace versus the UFC? <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Um, yeah, th there's nothing that quite gives you the uh, the rush like walking out to a crowd of 20,000 people knowing that not only is it daunting to have these people uh, cheering or rooting against you, but you have to physically compete and beat somebody. Otherwise, they're trained two to three months to kick your ass, to beat you up. And it's like, it, it's, it's something that you have to flip a switch in your head. And I like to find something. I channel some type of energy. And once I find it, I just hold on to it. And I, I make my way all the way to walk out to the cage, to the octagon. And I try not to let that go because once you kind of lose the moment, then you might get caught. And it's, you know, it's a game right, of inches. Right, right. Anything could happen. Got you. Uh, last one. Bigger icon. Derek Zoolander or Royce Gracie? <laughs> I'm going to have to go with, oh, this is a tough one. I mean, <laughs> Zoolander kind of said, the Royce Gracie, I'm sorry. Yeah. Royce Gracie, you know what I mean? Oh, the, legend. the legend. You're a jiu-jitsu guy, right? So, yeah, I, well, guy. I'm more of a Muay Thai guy. I'm, really? I'm both. I'm both. Okay. I'm everything. You know, I, I do jiu-jitsu. I've been doing jiu-jitsu for a long time. I've been doing Muay Thai longer, but I'm a, a brown belt in jiu-jitsu uh, under Eddie Bravo. And, uh, yeah, you got to respect uh, Hoyes Gracie. He was the first guy in here. This guy was fighting, you know, he's like 170 pounds fighting 230-pound men at the time, and uh, he kind of paved the way for all of us. Well, thank you, man. We're looking forward to seeing you in a movie, right? You're going to be in a Happy Half? Uh, uh, Harry Half. Harry, Harry Half's coming out next year. Uh, oh, since amazing. I've been recovering from some injuries, I've been uh, doing a lot of acting. Got a great role in the movie Harry Half playing a fighter opposite Ben Foster. So it was a great opportunity for me and it kind of uh, started a, a bit of a, something inside of me to continue the acting. So hope to do more in the future. All right, man. Hopefully you come back. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, man. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much.